Fox Carolina First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent. Well, we are tracking some rain across the area. We've even had a couple of rumbles of thunder, some heavier downpours, but they're not everywhere. So let's show you where it is now. I notice most of the rain starting to get into the central part of the upstate. So around Pickens County, uh, we've got some of that rain falling in easily. A steady rain there. In fact, around here, we've got heavier downpours around Fingerville, where it's falling at about an inch per hour. But at least this is moving, uh, so I don't expect to have any big issues out of it. We are looking at some scattered light lightning strikes too. So you may hear a rumble of thunder. Our severe weather threat very low. So we're not expecting any damaging wind hail with any of this, but certainly these downpours could slow you down on the roadways uh, around 385. Got some steady rain. Same thing around Anderson, but you can see how fast this is moving. Uh, so if it's raining in your backyard, it will likely get a little better in the next hour or two. So our rain trend, we keep a good chance of rain through around midnight, and then we start to see that trend go down so that by tomorrow, morning's commute, there may still be a little bit of drizzle, scattered light rain, but you're not going to be running into any heavy downpours first thing in the morning. So tonight, 49, good chance of rain. You may still hear it falling outside your window through about 10, 11, 12 o'clock tonight, but then should ease up getting closer to the morning and a much better situation for sports practice the second half of tomorrow as we'll get up to around 70 sunshine, a little breezy, but overall a very nice day and the pollen levels will come down because we had a little bit of this rain still out there, but just a little bit better. Uh, we're going to get about a half inch of rain out of the deal across much of the upstate, a little more, a little less, uh, but we're not looking at a huge one. Um, as of right now, where you're getting those heavy downpours, they won't last that long. And the next big thing, we're looking ahead to some much nicer weather. We've got a beautiful three-day weekend coming. Uh, in fact, the trends have taken any chance of rain away from uh, Easter Sunday. So for those egg hunts for sunrise services, it'd be a little chilly in the 50s, but couldn't ask for a much better forecast. Just a little warm in the afternoon if you're in the sun with those highs in the upper 70s. And even beyond the 7 day forecast as we get into next week, we're looking at slightly warmer than normal conditions. So we'll keep those 70s coming into next week. So today was tough to take for many with those 50s and the showers. We've got some improvements on the way. Uh, so we've got 70 tomorrow, just a slight chance of rain mainly in the morning. And then on Thursday, we'll have a small chance of rain too. It's primarily as the system is a little stalled to our south. There's a chance we could get a quick shower uh, south of 85, but right now it looks very minimal. I think most of us stay dry Thursday. Friday into this weekend, looking gorgeous, just like we talked about. Easter Sunday shaping up nicely. Next week, we'll have a rain chance back by around Tuesday. And at this point, it's skewing toward later in the day. We'll keep you posted on how that's going to impact your outdoor plans. In the mountains, looking at scattered showers Wednesday, uh, early on, but then it should clear on out so that by Thursday into Friday, beautiful, just a little chilly at night, could have some patchy frost across some of the higher terrain. Uh, be sure to download the Fox Carolina First Alert weather app as we go into Easter weekend. It's such a great tool to have, especially if you're traveling. It'll go with you. It'll let you know if there's threatening weather heading your way. And also you can keep up with the forecast right here at home. We'll send you those exclusive videos. 